here we are, just got to our spot. And today is all about kayak fishing from the lightning. So I'm so excited. It's been a really long time since I've been out in a kayak, catching fish today. Name of the game. Kayak fishing, people. It's going to be kayak fishing. We're going to be throwing some bucktails, see if we can get on some flounder. Yeah, so everybody today is probably cobia fishing in our fishery because it's the first weekend of cobia season. But Christy and I, we haven't been on our kayaks all year. So this is way long overdue. So today, we're getting out on our lightning kayaks, people. That's what we're doing. Y'all, check it out. Jeff actually remembered the nets today. I'm so proud of him. That's a really good one. Really good one. That's I'm a ready. good look on you. Thank you. The lightning kayak. Oh yeah. All right, people, so we got about a mile long paddle. We're gonna go ahead and hop in the yaks. Get out to the fishing grounds. It's actually like slack tide right now. Slack high tides. We're gonna try and get out there before the tide starts moving out. We're pretty much making our way out to the spot. What would you say, that was about a mile paddle? There's Christy. Berkeley Gulp swimming mullet. Flounder candy. So we've got these rocks right here. It's gonna be some great structure for us to fish. There's one. Fish on. All right, people. Yeah. First drop. Dang, that was like the first, that a, that's a big, weak fish. Big old weak fish. Dang, that's a nice fish. We'll take it. All right, people, shout out to Stinky Pants Stringers for hooking us up with these stringers. They saw that we've been using just like rope and stuff for all of our fish. All right, y'all, first drop. Tandem rig is already producing. Got our first fishy on the stringer. Nice size wheat fish. All right, y'all, hooked up on a good one. I think this is our target species right here. Gotta be. Yep. That's the flatty we're looking for. I'm gonna land them in the net. There we go. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. There it is, target species. There's one. All right, people. Oh, that's a good one. Dang, I thought I was I thought I was stuck. That's a really good one. Really good one. Really, really good one. All right, y'all. Christy and I are on a good bite. Doormat. Really? Freaking doormat. Nice game. Won't even fit in the net status. Oh my gosh. Maybe not a New York doormat, but oh my gosh. You guys, these tandem rigs are doing work today. Oh my gosh, y'all. This thing is a giant, working on a limit. <laughs> All right, y'all, man, I am I am so stoked out here. This is first day of kayak fishing 2020, and that's what it's all about right there. We have barely, this is like our fifth pass right here that I've really been working this area. Oh my gosh, I am, I'm so stoked right now. Christy, she's getting on the board. 
try and catch up to Jeff over there with his stringer. Ah! Boat flip. Nice. Hold up. All right, y'all, here's my flounder, my first flounder of the day. And we're working a little bit more shallow. It's where the flounder seem to be, and he's gone. All right, y'all, so the thing with flounder fishing that a lot of people make the mistake of is, that might've been a fish, is that people are too aggressive with their pops. Literally, you can catch flounder just dead sticking. What that means is you literally just start putting your rod in a rod holder and you're just letting your bait sit. So keep in mind when you're flounder fishing that it is, I actually caught my first flounder today. I was like messing with my reel and then I like reeled up and there was weight on it. So see how I'm making just subtle jigs of my rod. My rod tip is moving about like a foot. If I move my rod tip from down to the water up to there, you're, you're moving your bait like four or five feet off of the bottom. So you wanna make sure that when you're jigging, it's just subtle jigs. And there's some people, they do like the fast jig. You can do that. I'm not a big fan of that. I just honestly like giving it this type of motion off the bottom. Flounder are not picky. Anything that swims by within their strike zone, within their wheelhouse, they will hit it. There we go. Another one. That's a good one. Good one. Dang. That's a really good one. All right, people. On another good flounder. Let's see how big he is. These guys just feel like a ton of bricks when they hit. Be a keeper, please. I'm hungry. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Really good one. There we go. Whew. Oh my gosh. This thing is so big, I can barely like lift it into the boat. All right, y'all, let's get this guy on the stringer. Easy. All right, people, look at that. That is a beautiful stringer. There it is. Every, all the big ones are hitting on the bucktail, y'all. So the setup, in case y'all missed it, it's a one ounce, one ounce bucktail. It's like a red, one ounce bucktail and then I've got a I don't know what size hook this is but just like a smaller you can put a kale hook octopus hook circle hook whatever you want and then I've got a four inch Berkeley gulp swing mullet right there when I am just flounder fishing I tend to just use Berkeley gulp y'all I'm just so stoked right now I'm kind of at a loss for words it's just been way too long since I've been on my kayak and since we've caught flounder and y'all just when y'all are flounder fishing so all my bites are coming when i'm like literally just like almost dead sticking and it's just like dragging bottom so when y'all are flounder fishing just keep that in mind you know you're not making these like crazy jerking motions of your rod tip make sure your bait's on the bottom and if you want to apply a little bit of action that's fine but y'all we're working on a limit check that out okay There's one. Yeah. There we go. All right, y'all. I think I'm on a good one. Christy and I are fishing right next to each other. What's up, y'all? Tandem style. <laughs> yep. Jeff you want to net my fish for me? Today. Sure. Bring him around town. Is that keeper? David, oh, you have been on all the big fish today. It's kind of hard for me to get it. All right, I'll get it. Say hey to the camera. Hey guys, all right, yeah, so we've been out here down in a sick fishing spot, y'all. Oh, I've got a fish on. You do? Dang it, I did. Man, I should be paying attention to my fish. He swam right into the net. Wow. Easy. Dang. 
Woo, there it is. That's my limit right there. Everything else is fishing for Christy. Oh, there he is. All right, flounder number dose. We are dialing in these fish, y'all. I'm hoping he's a keeper. He's not pulling like one, but you never know until he gets up here. Oh my gosh, I'm catching all the small ones today. But hey, it's still flounder in the boat. You guys, these are some fun fish to catch. Man, I'm catching all the little guys today. Here we go, fish number two. See ya, bud. And I am all hung up, okay. All right, y'all, so that wraps up our morning of flounder fishing right here off these rocks. Produced a ton of fish, y'all. We are bringing a one-man limit home of flounder. We've got a weak fish, and we've got a stringer full of dinner. So we're gonna head back. But anyway, yeah, y'all, it was a blast out here, and I am actually gonna be trolling on the way back. Maybe I can get out of Cobia. So we're gonna take it nice and wide out here and see if we can get some extra meat in the boat. How freaking awesome would that be if we caught a trobia, a trobia, if we, how awesome would that be if we could catch a cobia trolling this bucktail behind us. So anyway, I've got the tandem rig behind the boat and cruising back home. That wraps up an awesome day out there on the water. I am sunburnt, caught a few fish, had a good time, and now back home to the Anderson compound for some lunch and uh, filet and fish. Here we go. This is our flounder sushi, and I don't even know how much this would be in a restaurant, but y'all can totally do this at your house, and it's kind of like a fun, almost like an arts and crafts project for... Get it in our little soy sauce. Amazing. So good. So, there it is. Definitely give this recipe a shot. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that video. If y'all want to see more of these recipes, please give me a comment or just a thumbs up. And that's all I got for y'all today. And you guys, try this recipe and you will not be disappointed.